Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to another special edition of my Metro Manila Film Fest 2020 reaction highlights and review for the horror movie The Missing. And to one and only, all of the critics slash Manai, Michael Carbon, and welcome back to my channel. And of course, Merry, Merry Christmas to the lahat guys. And again, we're having a special edition of MMFF. Dahil we will going to showcase, review, and you know, show some highlights of my reaction for the movie or the horror movie from Regal Entertainment, entitled The Missing, starring. Uh, Joseph Marco, Miles Ocampo, Ritz Azul, and directed by E.C. Ferrer, of course, the director of Ben and Jim, which is also one of the BL series that we then this year. Kaya man excited na tayo. Guys, no wish remember, this is no to piracy. Yes, no to piracy pa rin tayo. Make sure to watch uh, these movies via upstream.ph. Again, via upstream.ph and make sure to report any illegal uploads of this movie. Kaya naman, huwag natin patagalin pa. Larga na. Bravo! Welcome to The Missing. Ay, kasi wala pa lang. Ay, ang galong na ng transition na yun, ha? Medyo nagulat naman tayo dun ba? Oh my god, what happened? Traumatic child. Okay lang po kayo, Mam Iris. Dear, na gustong makausap ka. Meron siyang proposal para sa'yo. Ay, si Joseph Marco na yan na sa likod. Hello daw siya. Nakikita ko na, si Joseph na yan. Joseph, baby! There he is! Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Japan! Wow! Ang ganda ng mga shots nila sa Japan! OMG! Ang linis! Oh my gosh! I love the cinematography! Amazing! Ay, oh my gosh! Impressive! Ang galing! Oh my gosh! Ang galing! Grabe! Ang feeling na feel to do this, ha? It's very nice! I mean, it's not nice. It's very, very impressive. Ikaw lang daw yung babaeng minahal niya. <laughs> Sweet, ha? Joseph! Kasi Marco, oh my God. Nikinig ako, nakakalong ko. Joseph, marry me. Marry me. Shots in the cafe, Japanese night. That was wow, impressive. That was amazing. Ang ganda, ganda ng bahay. Yung typical ng mga Japanese nga na bahay. At yung mga typical Japanese sa bahay na mga horror. This house. Kaka tako. It's water na. Oh my god! Wow, ang ganda! Ang ganda ng mga locations nila! Amazing! Grabe! Hats off sa pumili ng mga locations. Amazing! Ito yung pinakamalaki at pinaka- Oh my god! Oh my god! Ayan, so we've just watched The Missing, which is one of the entries of the Metro Manila Film Festival 2020. 
It's a horror film, of course, from the one and only Regal Entertainment Incorporated, directed by East Bear, starring Joseph Marco, Rita Sul, and Miles Ocampo. Man, man, man. You know, guys, I'm a, I'm a horror fan, though. I'm very particular uh, when watching horror films. Well, I give consideration when watching Filipino. Kasi alam nyo naman, guys, sa kadami-daming Filipino horror films na nilabasan, ang hirap na ma-identify kung sino. I mean, from the classics that we've loved from the beginning down to the modern one, you know, ang daming pwedeng makalimutan kasi nga sa daming naglabasan. And I think nakakalimutan yung horror genre kasi yun nga, hindi na siya masyadong kinakari kagaya na before. But I love kasi with the... With the caliber of regal entertainment nabubuhay yung horror as far as i know one of the best horror films then na ginawa ng regal is the haunted mansion and nung nalaman ko na they are making this no they're making this in the metro of the philippines and i saw the trailer oh my gosh i ko, this is it i'm a support i'm a support this because it's regal it's horror when it's horror it's regal it should be regal so yes yung nagkamali the missing What I love and like about The Missing is the injection of Japanese culture, urban legend, Japanese tradition, fused with, of course, a Philippine approach in terms of directing and, of course, in terms of the actors and actresses. Para siyang fusion. Parang napakagandang fusion, napakagandang backdrop ang Saga Japan. Napagandang backdrop yung pinipin nila to produce a world-class horror film. Yes, it is world-class, period. Let us start first with the story. It may be a the usual story, you know, of a mystery of the house. Yes, doon na tayo. Yun na yung naging nagagasgas, yung mystery of house. But what makes it special is because, you know, it touches a, a kind of Japanese belief. Na tipong okay, baka meron na ito, or baka ito nangyayal sa tungkoy, because it's like, it's something ancient, and it's very, very nice. Napakaganda yung material na ginamit nila. The story is tall, but it's dark. Napakaganda ng approach nila in terms of laying down the story, down to the tension build up. You know, it's a slow-burning horror film. A slow-burning horror film na boom, boom, boom. Boom, and then the climax is very, very good. Very, very solid. First thing, napakaganda ng story. Kasi I love how they choose the backdrop of Japan for this. Diba? Pag Japan, horror talaga, guys. And I love that Filipino film is being shot in Japan. You know, with more or less majority of Filipino crew is anjan. So very, very much proud tayo na finally kaya natin lumaban sa world-class horror scene. And that's through the missing, which is an entry of the MMF Alpha Flat, <laughs> which is an entry for the Metro, Metro Manila Film Fest 22. Ang kakalurks, ano to? In fairness, ang ganda ng mga night shots ka. Ang ganda na guys, lupit na ka, pinapanood ko to. Ang kakalurks, ano parang pwede ko mukha? Oh my god! Oh. My. oh my god! Oh, 
And of course, here comes the visuals, the cinematography, tico scoring, cinematography. Pal, napaka consistent ng camera. Namin nila sa Manila hanggang pumunta sila sa Japan. Nung pumunta sila sa Japan ay grabe, nagwawala ako sa camera, nagwawala ako sa cinematography. Visually stunning. One, if not one, the most impressive in terms of cinematography for a horror film. Ang grabe, napaganda. Dahil sa magandang choices ng set ng production design. Maganda yung mga night shots. Ito talaga mga issue ko sa Filipino horror. Alam mo yung night shots na dapat nakakatakot kasi madilim. Pero masyadong maliwanag, dito grabe. On point lahat. On point ang lighting. On point ang musical scoring. I, I love how they highlighted the all scares. I love how eerie the sounds are when there are like tension building up, when there are like scary scenes. Napakaganda. Prosthetic wise, I again commend prosthetics for this. You know, Regal has been very impressive in some of their horror movies. Horror movies in terms of prosthetics. And dito, talagang hindi cringy, hindi goofy. Napakaganda. Well done. Nakakatakot. Yun lang yung maalaga, guys. Nakakatakot. <laughs> I mean, it's a stuck to save mind and it's very, very scary at the same time. Of course, hindi siya maging horror film, hindi ka scary. Pero ibang level of, of fear ang nilalagay dito. Eh. Yung hindi siya puro boom, 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 boom. In the typical cheap jump out scare. Ito kasi the slow, nga, sabi ko na slow burning. Tension. Tension is building. Tension is rising. Hanggang sa, you will be laid down with some recent turns. And the dark story of it. Grabe. It was thrilling also. Parang ilang beses din ako parang gusto Ooh, sumigaw ng bogang-boga. Alam mo yung wala lang ako sa sinihan. Nakakamisin na sa sinihan. Kasi marami kang kasama ko sumigaw. And of course, the actors, actresses. Grabe, what's more, what more can I say? <laughs> Is because they are perfectly casted together. I love how uh, Joseph Marco and Rita Sul work hand-in-hand for this film. You know, they are really the star of this film. I love their acting. Ritz is again very, very impressive. I am hoping that Ritz gets an award for this because you know, acting in horror is really hard. Acting like scary is really hard, guys. It's more than crying. In terms of horror. And I salute that. I also love the addition of Miles Okapo, which is again very very good support for this and talagang kudos sa kanilang mga Japanese actors grabe alam mo yung pinili lang at nilagay lagay lang dyan they really like casted it well the Japanese ca- the Japanese actors na kasama dito are really casted well amazing wala pinaghandaan talaga another idea there marap hindi na po <laughs> Hindi na po kami magreklamo sa kita. Maraming salamat. And of course, I love dahil lang, masingit ko lang, maganda din yung backdrop, na, ay maganda din yung uh, scenes na nagja-Japanese sila. I mean, cringy yung Japanese nila. Like, really 
para talagang nag-aralan ng buti ng mga actors and actresses ang kanilang Japanese language or Japanese conversations here. Kudos guys, gabi, amazing. Well, in terms of improvement, I think um, siguro kung ang, ah, ang iba ang manonood nila na mas maraming takot, pero ako tama na okay na yun sa akin. Ang aking well, point of improvement, siguro masyadong na madali na yung mag-lay down ng twist. Kasi parang it happened on the last 30 minutes. So, I, I was expecting na medyo magkaroon ng stretch konti yung pag-lay down ng twist and then pag, uh, pag-turn around ng story and all. But nevertheless, what more can I ask? Ang caliber ng ito is really good. It's really, really impressive. I'm so happy and so proud to be a Filipino. After watching the amazing film, dun ko masasabi na kaya na ng Pinoy ang world class na Pinoy or world class na horror film. And that is through the music. And congratulations, guys. Direct EC and Regal Entertainment. Congratulations for this very, very wonderful horror master. For the mist, which is one of the entries of the Metro Manila Film Fest 2020, I'm rating it perfect five stars. Yes, guys, don't forget to follow Bros or BL Reactors Online Society. To know more my bros are, visit the description link below. Make sure to subscribe on all our YouTube channels. And guys, don't forget to follow Bros on all our social media channels. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and here on YouTube. Don't forget to follow, guys. And yes, yes, yes. Well, that's our special edition. Meron ba abang this is our MMFF reaction video highlights and review very very soon at my YouTube channel. So don't forget to follow your one and only on MNR Critics slash Manai, Michael Carbon, and see my next vlog. Bye bye. <laughs>